Violence like this, we've seen it far too often in our community. And that's why families from across the metro gather tonight for a vigil honoring victims of unsolved homicides. This evening, reporter Leslie Dellisport talked to organizers and families about their pain and why it's important for community members to speak up. 680 unsolved homicides. These are individuals that still have no answers. 680 people with no justice. I just want justice. I mean, really, I just want my son back. 680 families suffering like Rhonda Herrings. You found your daddy? Oh, yeah, he did. Yes, that's your daddy. Whose five-year-old grandson has to see his dad, Brandon, on this poster. Oh, this picture means no more hugs, no more mom, I love you. But we are teaching him, telling him about his dad. This baby recognizes his daddy on the poster board. Nonsense. Nonsense that brought on tears for Michelle, who lost her son, Corey, in 2013. They truly take a relationship that you swore till death do you part. Because I did not swear to be Corey's mom until he died. I swore that I would be mo his mom until I died. But led to a mission with Corey's network. And during that process, we continued to have vigils for his justice. But at the same time, we started having other families that were joining us in, in their need and their quest for, for justice. Nine years in the making, holding vigils for those gone, now placing pictures of those lost whose justice has yet to be found. This is my husband, Roman Eastloss. He was a veteran, a father of eight. Families continue holding their loved ones' pictures high, keeping their memories, names, and stories alive. That is a... Mm, a journey that to walk down, you wouldn't want to. In Independence, Missouri, Leslie Dallas for KSHB 41 News.